Huxley the Dystopia was a first-person shooter developed and published by NHN. The first English closed beta was in June of 2009, and then there was an open beta on August 10th of 2009 through the IJJI portal. The game was named after Aldous Huxley because of the inspiration taken from his science fiction novel Brave New World. The book was set in a dystopian future having a plot that revolves around an alpha male with an inferiority complex and an impotent strumpet. Huxley the game, however, was not deeply story-driven instead being an online arena shooter like Unreal Tournament or Quake. The game actually ran on the Unreal 3 engine and it looked quite a bit like, get this, Unreal Tournament 3. There was also a full hour long soundtrack for the game recorded by the Hollywood Studio Symphony. They released a trailer for this game on DVD to show off the capability of new LED televisions, and the rights to host this game in China were sold for $39 million, making it the largest export transaction for a Korean game at the time. So when you first first start the game, you get to choose what faction you want to be a part of, either the Sapiens in blue or the Alternatives in red. Each faction had their own city, and there were three battle zones. After that, you were met with a pretty in-depth character creator that allowed you to have different types of face paint and various feature sliders. Once you're done making your face look all pretty, you move on to a fully voice-acted boot camp tutorial where you're shown an arsenal of weapons you can use, like the plasma beam shooting sniper rifle, and of course, a fucking rocket launcher. There were also multiple abilities that you had access to like teleportation, infrared vision, and my personal favorite, the ability to have the same amount of HP as a nearby enemy. You gain these abilities by leveling your character up, but some abilities were only compatible with certain classes. There were three classes, Enforcer, Avenger, and Phantom, each having their own armor, and the armor was separated into five types by color. The PvE had you fighting creatures in boot camp, but eventually in your respective city, occasionally having you battle NPCs in a war zone arena. In some missions, you even had access to vehicles like buggies, but what everyone is always interested in is the PvP. There were two modes which you could play. The first mode was the Skirmish, which used the almighty server room list, and was a deathmatch game with two teams of eight. The second mode was Battlefields, where two teams of 32 fought for objectives. The teams were separated by the factions that you picked in the beginning of the game. It's worth noting that while Skirmishes had a single host for a match, Battlefield matches were hosted by dedicated servers. The game was also supposed to be cross-platform, but that never worked out in the end. And I'm sorry guys, but that's really all I've got to say about Huxley. See, I would love to go more in depth about the game the community gathered, or the story it had, or the progression system as a whole in the game, but like many others, I personally never got the chance to play Huxley the Dystopia. And the reason for this is because aside from the two-day open beta on IJJI, the game never saw the light of day again in North America. See, in August of 2010, NHN put out a statement explaining explaining that Webzen would be taking over all of the game's publishing in the NA region, but they made sure that all in-game currency bought with real money would remain valid. And the thing is that Webzen never actually got around to publishing the game, and they didn't send out any information that I was able to find pertaining to why the game didn't come out, although my guess would be because of its poor reception in Korea. Even though in North America there was only a two-day open beta, Huxley's open beta was available in Korea for much longer, starting on May 3rd of 2010, but still closed in December of that same year, and from what I gathered, the failure of this game was because of its progression system. There's no real set in stone shutdown date for Huxley in North America, and although Webzin hasn't officially declared it dead, you can't play it and there's no emulators or private servers. Which is a shame, because it could have easily been brushed off as an Unreal Tournament or Quake clone, but the game had charm and personality along with what seemed to be a massive amount of hype. But if you remember dashing around, dodging rockets, and going cloaked, then using your twitch reflex to get that perfect shot with your plasma beam sniper rifle on the head of an enemy that's double jumping through the air, then Huxley the Dystopia is a game you might remember. As always, if you had the sheer willpower to make it this far, thank you very, very much. You're fantastic. You're good people. Please share your experience or expectations you had for Huxley the Dystopia in the comments. If you're a fan of the Games You Might Remember series, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if not, then you should hit it anyway, because I also open the discussions on various other topics in gaming. If you want to give me feedback, suggest a game, or just have a personal conversation with me personally, then please join the Daily Quest Discord. There will be a link in the description, and we also have a Facebook if you're into that sort of thing. Peace out.